Okay, it's been about two weeks since I did my daughter hair. And this is how it looks. She got a new growth going on. It still look fairly decent, but I'm going to uh, redo the top part so she can wear another two weeks. But this is how it looks so far. You can see it's, you can see her new growth. Since I did her hair. And I braided it and I twist it at the ends. I braided it to, to how far her real hair go. And then I twist it towards the end. Stand up, Molly. And... This is how it looks so far. See, she got a lot of new growth. Here's one right here. Turn around. And like I said, I twisted her hair. Turn all the way around. I twist. I braided it for so far, and then I twisted the rest. And then I curled the bottom of her hair. But what I'm going to be using for her hair to um, redo it is I'm going to be using a do grow oil mega thick grow oil treatment I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using the sheen moisturizer Jamaica black castor oil it's strength grow and restore conditioner and these are the two projects products that I'm going to use to redo her hair and then when I finish taking what I'm going to take down I will come back and show you how um how I get ready to do it again I'll be back don't move okay I just took the back part what I'm going to redo over and I'm going to put some more oil on it Here's the oil, the do grow oil. I'm gonna put some of this on there and like massage it off into her hair. Make sure I get it off in there and massage it. And it don't take that long to redo the ones she's gonna redo. And then I'm going to take some of the conditioner, black, black, okay, Jamaican black casserole. I'm going to put some of this off in it to make it soft and give it a good smell because I love the way this smell. And it softens her hair up really. It softens her hair up. I already did one side over. Now I'm moving to the back to redo the back over some of it. And when she need when it needs to be washed, I just buy some of that dry shampoo from I think it's from Swab. I buy some of that and I just spray it off in her hair for like to wash her hair with it. Okay, sorry about that. I was doing the back. I'm finished with the back of it. I just finished the back. But my camera had died, so I had to charge it and then come back. Okay, now I'm on the other side. I'm to do the last side. I took them all down. I'm going to comb it and then oil it and show you how I'm going to do this side. And then I'm going to show you a couple of hairstyles that I do to her hair. When she get before she get ready to go to school. See, this is how it looks. She had a new growth. And let me get started on this side. Be back. Ready? Push it. Okay, I'm just get ready to put some oil on there. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna oil the hair. Put oil off in there, make sure it's not dry. And I'm going to massage it off in her head. Give it a good massaging.
And again, this is the update of me doing Molly's hair. It's been two weeks. I will drop the website what hair I use off in the description and the bottom of my my channel, my comments. And so you know what hair I used on the hair. I'm supposed to put some. Oh, I'm supposed to put some sheen moisturized off in the hair conditioner and this is all I really use I don't use nothing else on my hair just these two products and they seem to work really good they get all her tangles out and like I said, those are two only two products that I use besides the shampoo or the Sheen Jamaica condition. I Me, mean, um, she it's just the shampoo of it. And I'm gonna show you how I braided it. On her hair to make it stay, I add a rubber band on it. And the rubber band, after a couple, after a week, the rubber band will start popping. And what I do with the rubber bands, I just take them out of her hair, but the braid will stay. I take, I just pull them out of her hair. And then I, I'm going to take the hair. I'm going to take two strings of the hair. And I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to braid it. I'm going to use her hair to braid it. And then I'm going to take a piece of hair from the weave. I'm going to add it with her hair. Just one string. And add it with her hair. And I'm just going to braid it. I'm going to braid it all the way down until her hair stops. And then I'm gonna take the take the uh, other piece, and then I'm gonna add it with one of the other strings, and then I'm just gonna break. I'm just gonna twist it all the way down. See, I'm gonna take it, gonna twist. Just gonna twist it all the way down. Till I get to the end. And I will be back after I finish her hair. I'm going to show you a couple of hairstyles that I do with her hair. While her hair is up like this. And it's a good protective style. For your child. If you just want to give her hair a break from combing it all the time. And I'll be back. When I finish, is it on five?